very happy to, to say welcome everybody uh, to the launch of uh, research, higher education and the policy department of Aegis Trust. And with the main goal with, to inform policy, um, the practice with the best evidence. I came here to participate in the launch of the new initiatives which AGC is taking. The University of Rwanda, and particularly the College of Arts, uh, is an important partner for, for research and education, especially in relation to peace, to human rights, and to genocide uh, and genocide studies. It's kind of fascinating to me to have such an opportunity to have people together talking about our research and policy in Rwanda because um, it's a kind of a new, a new area that is being built in Rwanda. I, I think for Rwanda itself that there's a, a lot of advantages from this particular program. I think that Rwandan researchers will benefit from having the resources now to go and do the research that they want to do. I think that Rwandan policy makers will benefit because there'll be a, a new set of evidence uh, that they can draw upon in, the, in their own policy. It is also an opportunity of uh, liaising, connecting, partnering eventually, eventually in my own field of work. Really interesting in this initiative is the whole combination. Because when you do research, you are generating new knowledge. The initiative uh, fills into the lack of uh, research particularly, but also it comes to fill uh, and encourage uh, the low level of research. It is a field, I, I think, that has not been given the necessary attention. And if we talk of today's social cohesion of Rwandese, if we talk of uh, all that concerns the revival of this country after the destructions and the mayhem of the genocide, uh, it is a very fertile field in which uh, we should be engaged more, uh, much more. We look forward to really having a Randis talk about their history, talk about what happened in their country with experience and, uh, you know, uh, feeling it because it's them. Uh, we'll see Rwandan research uh, at the international level, I, I think in a way that we haven't seen as much in the last 20 years. And that can only be a good thing. It, it can only be a good thing for an international audience to understand how Rwandans are seeing their own country. So I believe the field that uh, Aegis Trust is tackling today responds to that need that has may probably not be no, not been given the necessary attention. Well, I, I see this as an opportunity for capacity building in Rwanda. This comes actually to beef up the, what the government has always wanted to, to happen in Rwanda, people to read, people to write their history. We feel honored that we have been invited to participate in this and that AGES is going to work hand in hand with the University of Rwanda. Addressing this gap that is there uh, will also help in the long run the, the practice, the activities uh, beyond the policy. And I hope that in the next 10 years or five years, through the cooperation of Rwandans uh, and AGES Trust, there will be more capacity in the areas of genocide uh, narrative and the, and the domination is going to be Rwandan as opposed, as, uh, as opposed to what the situation looks like today.